Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock Top 10s, where I'm counting down the top 10 worst Stephen King movies, as picked by fellow YouTuber KillerNerd75. He sent me in his own personal picks of what he thought were some of the worst Stephen King adaptations that went to theaters or DVD or made in a TV movies. And some, I admit, I have seen, and I agree with them. Some I have not yet seen, but I've been told multiple times to stay away from. So let's get things going with the top 10 worst Stephen King movies as picked by Killer Nerd 75. And we start things off at number 10 with. The Shining. Uh, a lot of people said that this one was drawn out, boring, too talkative, not a whole lot of action, and uh, just four hours too long of a movie. Number nine goes to Salem's Lot, another one I have not yet seen, but uh, but if Killer Nerd 75 picked it, it's got to be bad. I have seen the original. The original scared me as a kid. But uh, maybe this one should be one I should stay away from. Number eight goes to the TV movie remake of Carrie. This is one that many, many, many people have said stay away from. Uh, it's bad all around. The ending is different, and it just plain sucked. Number seven goes to Trucks, which was originally supposed to be the idea for Maximum Overdrive. But then Stephen King wanted to kind of, kind of redo it, and... It sucked. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Number six goes to The Mangler. This is one of those movies that started off bad, had sequels that were even worse, and I wasn't even sure that was even possible. Number five goes to The Lawnmower Man. I admit I like this one, but there have been a lot of people that have said, stay away from the sequel. Maybe I'll take their advice, but something tells me I'll probably be reviewing part two soon enough. Number four goes to Storm of the Century, which was an Emmy Award-winning uh, miniseries, but surprisingly, he didn't like it, and I've heard mixed, re mixed reviews on this one, so we'll see what happens. Number three goes to the Tommy Knockers, which involves aliens, and there was another miniseries that just ran far too long. It was very overly ridiculous and idiotic. Number two goes to Graveyard Shift. My beautiful wife Sarah and I saw this on Netflix, and our only question about it was, what was that thing in that? Was it a bat? Was it a gargoyle? What in the name of Stephen King was it? And Killer Nerd 75's number one pick for his least favorite worst Stephen King adaptation into a movie goes to The Langoliers. Can you blame him? Honestly, those things look like the Krites from Critters had sex with meatballs and this is what came out of it Ugh. so there you guys have it killer nerd 75's picks for the top 10 worst Stephen King movies and honestly the Langoliers is a great pick uh, Bronson Pinchot's overacting was just too much to handle uh, Dean Stockwell who many of you might remember from uh, from Quantum Leap he was almost acting like uh, William Shatner in this one. And the CGI of the Langoliers itself was just horrible. Uh, like I said, Lawnmower Man, I liked it. But the sequel, I have yet to see. Uh, the Shining just seemed like something that was just about 75-80% of talking and 20-25% of scares and some of the stuff I've seen of it. It does look very ridiculous. Um, of course, like I said, The Mangler, god-awful movie, and the sequels were even worse. So, yeah. Uh, but special thanks to Killer Nerd 75 for his picks of the uh, of his of his picks for the top ten worst Stephen King movies. And um, yeah, like I said, some of them, some of them were in there quite surprising but uh but thanks man for your for your picks and uh hey if you guys have any top tens you would like to do you can message them to me and from course number 10 to number one uh just send them in and then i will get on them for you as soon as i can love to hear what you guys have for ideas um 
hopefully this will this will uh, help you guys out try to think some ideas of some um, of some top tens you guys would like to do yourself and um, yeah <laughs> the Langoliers man I I was warned to stay away from that movie many many times a lot of people said it has terrible CGI Bronson Pinchot is terrible in it the whole movie is bad I admit there was some stuff in it I kind of liked, you know, a lot of stuff I was just like, wow, that's pretty interesting, that's pretty cool, but the, but the whole movie in itself was like, this makes no freaking sense. <laughs> but not everything is Stephen King's that gets adapted into a movie uh, turns out to be something great. But Maximum Overdrive is still my all-time favorite horror movie overall. Love that movie. Alright, gang. Well, that's going to pretty much do it for this edition of Doc Schlock Top 10s. Uh, and always, if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that that some great author turned into a movie and you sat there and went, Really? <laughs> Seriously? Send it my way, and I'll get on it ASAP. And again, I want to remind you guys, your uh, your picks for the for the uh, worst horror movie remakes, you guys have until September 30th to get them all in. And then during Schlocktoberfest 2015, I will finally get the top 10 worst horror movie remakes picked by you guys. Send in as many as you guys want to. And, uh, and I'll get the video up uh, around the first Tuesday of October. So hope you guys will tune in, check that out. Thanks for you guys' continuous support of this channel. Always much appreciated, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if there's any uh, Stephen King adaptation movies that you think he might have missed, or you think could have been something that you thought might have been might have been uh, something worse than the, than the Langoliers. Put it in the comments below. Love to see what you guys think. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get on out of here because that music's starting to freak me out a little bit. It's almost like I'm having to wait for some sort of a... some sort of a great battle to happen. As if we all must be waiting for... as if we all must be having to wait for the great battle between who knows what. It's almost as if we all must wait for all of us to stand up as if we must stand and deliver our courage and yeah it's it's from the stand there you guys go so until next time for doc schlock top tens as always stay strong and rock on